Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! Let's finish off exploring the lot today. What dog? Whoa! It's raining cats and dogs, apparently, here. Yeah, I totally missed the let the first time I played the game. Because, like, the, the plot never directs you to go here. It's just, like, a little side area with some side quests and nice music here, too. Hey, Keith, just remember when you shot that thing up? <laughs> but yeah, it's like Gungaga in Final Fantasy VII. I just never went there. I, I, I think the game directed you to go to Gungaga, but still, I mean, I totally missed it. It was just, like, out of the way, and I think they only mentioned it, like, once. You know? So I totally missed out on that. Okay, well, that's just about everything we can do here. Except, well, okay, I'll show one more thing off here. Remember that painting with the kid where he had the bone? Well, if you go down here, let's talk to the dog. He has the bone. And there's something under it. Squall got the potion. Yeah, yeah, you can get an item for recognizing where the boy painted the bone or whatever. And by the way, there is a way you can get past that guard there, but, uh, you know, I'll show that off later. I want to actually move on with the plot today. I'll be coming back here before the end of disc one. Don't worry about it. Just for, you know, another step in the Queen of Cards side quest. So yeah, let's just take a car because, uh, I ran out of gas in my other car. <laughs> Probably because I was driving on the railroad tracks. I don't know. Maybe that causes you to burn fuel more quickly. So remember, viewers, don't drive on the railroad tracks. Let's see if I can make it back to wherever I was before. I don't know. Let's see. Well, the road parallels that. Oh, there it is. See, there's... Well, you can hardly see it now, but... Okay, there's the East Academy Station. And if I get off here, there's Gabadia Garden. And here's the tiny forest. So let's just pass on through... Oh. I guess we gotta have a little cutscene here first. Okay, fair enough. Are we there yet? Oh, we are. Oh, well. Okay, great. Let's just move along then. Well, it's too late now for that. I mentioned that before, but oh no! We gotta go to the nearest garden because that's what the book says to do. Even if there's a trap waiting for us. Yeah, let's just go. But I'm worried, too. Can you help me console my feelings? Yeah, you see, that's what uh, Zell was all depressed about on the train there, because he blew our cover. Don't you think th they would have had, like, a, a class on that? I mean, if you're a special forces unit, you know, you would think, you know, part of your job is, you know, a little bit of spying and everything, right? I mean, they would teach you how not to blow your cover. Or at least tell you that, you know? Well, we're special forces. We're not a freaking army. I mean, how many of us do you think there are? Hey, who made me the leader? Oh, right, Sid. Well, you're the one paying me. Well, shouldn't Keith just be the leader now? So? Well, actually, you know, I gotta side with Renoa on this one. Even if you don't care about other people's feelings, you know, you gotta give some support, you know? It helps helps you get what you want out of them, you know? Even if it maybe doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, I rely on my sword. A lot of good that did against Cypher. Whatever. Whatever, Renoa. What? What are you doing to him, Renoa? Eat floor, Squall. High fiber. And Kistus, too. Oh, no. Crap. Selfie? All right. No! Not you, too! Yeah, yeah, it's always those three that fall down here. Great job, Renoa. You're like Kaiser Soze. You took out Squall and his friends. But that's why I took Renoa and Kistis with me. Because now, their, their setup will automatically carry over to here. Because it's always those two. Even if I had Zal and Renoa in my party, Kistis and Selfie 
would have been the ones who fell unconscious into the dream world. So now they get to find out what it's like to be a man. Well, there we go. Nice braid you got there, Kiros. And why are these three always together? You know, I mean, you'd figure from one mission to the other or whatever, you know, they'd be moving from one squad to another or something. Ha ha ha! Classic Laguna. Nah, it's just your imagination, Laguna. Yeah, we're fully equipped, but uh, I'll just double check, I guess. Okay, we're all set and ready to go, so let's just head on up here then. Apparently we're on some sort of, I don't know, what is this place? A patrol or an expedition or something like that. What are they doing here anyway? Oh right, I know what they're doing, but uh, I can't say without massively spoiling the plot. So I was going to say, I don't think they ever explain, but they do, they do. The rule of foo, or the rule of thumb. Whoa, SR soldiers. Crap. A pincer attack? No, no, this is Final Fantasy VIII. We do not have pincer attacks here. They didn't even have them in Final Fantasy IX, oddly enough. That's weird. Oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot to show off my other comrades' weapons here. Uh, Kiros has sword blades for arms. It's amazing. But look at what Ward has. He has a freaking harpoon that impales you with that. Oh, baby. We got some badass weapons here. Oh, okay. I guess we gotta take out those guys. Thank you for uh, taking a coffee break while we were uh, taking out your friends there. Thanks. Oh, crap. Maybe we should get out of here. Now, we could, logically, go back the way we came. But, in order to progress with the plot, we gotta go up here. There's also a path to the right there, but I wanna go this way first. And there's a draw point to the right there. I think it's confused, if I recall correctly, but whatever. Now, once you climb up this ladder, you gotta press down to go down the ladder, even though down would have taken you back to where you came from. That's a little confusing, so I figured it just point that out to you. I always get confused because sometimes I press up and then I'll have to go back down again. So, yeah. Ooh, what's this? Looks like we found a secret treasure. My butt hurts. Huh? What's wrong, Laguna? Oh, crap. Did he lose the key? I don't think we ever find out what that key would have done. But you do if you pick it up and then lose it, it opens up something later in the game. So I'll be going over that later. Nothing cheaper than something free, huh? Like my life. And I got that for free. Ha. <laughs> okay, well, let's just move along then. Yeah, let's just head on down here. And if you go across here, you hear that little trip there? There we go. Huh some weird-looking floor panels they got there. Some stubborn fool won't follow us. Well, who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? <laughs> Where did you get all these weird expressions, Laguna? Yeah, wh wh you're the genius? Although I suppose you were the one who landed uh, Julia, so... Eh, gotta give you credit for that. Yeah, yeah, so basically what we're trying to do is remove the lever and uh, set up a trap for any SR soldiers following us. So they'll just fall right through. Well, you gotta try something. And you might never know if you don't. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, we couldn't go back. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's tamper with it, because if you do that, that opens up something else for later in the game. We won't find out until much later. Okay, but will the SR soldiers fall for that trap? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. 
Have a good day.